You're smart aleck half-assed, and you can do anything better than anybody else, and they all know you can. So <laughs> I said, no, my mother, if I'd have known it was if I'd known it was Mary's grandkid, I'd have never came over here because I know about his rep. So <laughs> yeah. I had a bad reputation. You know, because I didn't care. I mean, I got See, that's what happens when you know, all these people they have all the talent. It's the ones that don't have as much that try harder. I uh, I didn't have to. I just I, I knew okay, that what it was, I could dance from the time I was born. Which is funny because I was I fell off the I fell off camp power and light building out here and crushed my crushed my feet up. But I was born I was literally born like that in a, in a box. So for some reason, I was given a lot of abilities to make up for the fact that my body was screwed from the beginning. I mean, I got a little, I got a heart like about that on a body. That Maybe was, it got bigger. No, it didn't get big. My heart never really expanded. I mean, it's too small. It was too small for the 220 pounds I've been carrying most of my life. So, but. Uh, but we're going to try to do things um, because this special is not about me. It's basically featuring the talents of a lot of young Hollywood mm -hmm. and maybe some older people in Hollywood that basically you don't remember could sing, but started out as singers. I mean, there's a lot of band. There right now, there's a lot of big band singers from the 1950s that were major Hollywood stars that people don't even remember were singers when they started out. People remember that Merv Griffin was a big band singer, that Hal Linden from Barney Miller was a big band singer. Uh, you know, you, you just go down the list of people that were big band performers that basically nobody knows about. Well, she's too young. I don't know them. She doesn't know them. They're, they're, they're icons of television. I don't know. So, but, um, but it will be neat. We, we will start today tweeting about it and we will start today Facebooking about it because you know if you know somebody out there that would like to um, uh, you know actually we've got to have one hell of a big sponsor that's willing to sponsor a show from getting him without a commercial advertisements in the middle because it's the only way I can get TV station to carry TV stations will not carry anything for a free unless you know you have to pay them so we we'll have to buy we we'll have to buy an hour airtime everywhere it goes mm -hmm. it will have to be purchased and um, you know some of the stuff I can get away with. And some of the people will give me free time. That much I do know. But some, most of the others, because the economy is down, they can't afford to give away time for an hour because most of them don't believe in Christmas anyway today. Christmas is under attack from all sides. This is just you know I'm just hoping that maybe the, the I know the people that don't believe in Christmas do like good music. They like to be entertained. So if you come forth and give us something that will take their mind off of all the crappy things that are going on at the world, at the moment, you know, maybe, we, maybe we'll make arrangements for people that basically have nothing to be able to go someplace and watch it that night. Mm. You know, talk to your local communities about having a viewing party where they can come celebrate for an evening. You know, that can take, you know, we can pick a local sponsor. You know, because we're not making any money off of it. It's a freebie on our part, total and absolute freebie. There's no money involved in it. It's just going to be an hour of entertainment done for the benefit of the people of this country and anybody else in the world who wants to watch it. The viewing parties where people, we could bring people in, you know, meet people you've never met before, maybe have some food while you're sitting around watching it. That would be a neat idea. So I'm expanding it, you know. The, the way it works is, like my father said, we really don't have something go big, so <laughs> we haven't got the, we have the resources to do it. We just don't have the resources to get it out. Mm -hmm. So that's our big problem. She's the business person, I'm not. I'm the sort of the big dreamer that figures out how to do things. Uh, but she's the business person, you know, the cute little bikini body did business person. But um, I think we, you know, we went on and on and on and talked about this. It's sort of important to us because it is something. We have been discussing this thing for about a year now. And we now finally get some young people that would like to get involved. Well, actually, you know, part of it is it's the time of the year. It's yeah. Like, it's about that time that you need to get it done. Generally, Christmas specials are done in June or July. I just can't picture doing something that's going to take a day to do in June or July. I and know. just setting so on it. early. You know, there's people, you know, we've got to make certain everybody gets together. We've got to have them all together in one place at one time for one day. I hope everybody has a good time, which is what's meant to be a good time. Like I said, 
We will allow you to see parts of what we're doing live. You can Twitter us about what you're seeing. You can do Facebooking us about what you're seeing. And um, then we'll probably talk, I don't know how we're going to get it set up on Facebook so we can have a Christmas special. Uh, probably a fan club designed specifically for that. The PD, uh, the PD1 Christmas, 2000. PD1? PD1. The PD1. What's yeah. PD stand for? Public Domain. Oh. Public Domain 1. Because they can do this more than one time. Oh. Well, why don't call it Christmas PD1? Christmas PD1. Because PD1, okay. you'll lose them before the they Christmas start. PD1. Okay, but we'll try that. And we'll give you a Twitter account. We'll give you a Facebook account. Until then, you can go to MontyBubbles.net on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you information there. Or... Uh, you know, or go to um, Old Cam on Facebook or Old Cam on Twitter. We'll, we'll give you more information. We got my 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 the man that's the head of our music company, Prince Wilhelm. You know, is going to be heavily involved. And in other, we got a lot of old folks doing this thing. Is this a young person's thing? I'm old, or I'd simply be out of place on the show. So, because I, I had my day, my day in the. My, my day ended 30 years ago. He should be on there. So, I guess, you know, you got, what, you need to say something other than just looking cute. No, well, stay tuned, keep, you know, because we're going to keep doing updates, so stay tuned. Let us know what you think. If you've got somebody that would love to sponsor it, yes, we would be very interested in it. Yeah, because it can cost you an arm and a leg. It really is. Then you're not going to get anything with goodwill out of it. That's, I, I believe in telling people the truth. This is a Christmas special. Don't lie to them about Christmas. It's going to cost you because the money is all going to have to put in buy-in time for the people that don't want it on in their area. And there are going to be a lot of people that will not want a Christmas special on because how many do you see being done today? I know. I none. See. None. They just don't do them anymore because they don't. Uh, we've, we, we've grown old and too mature for this sort of childish thing, which is why these old bash ranking things are so popular. They trawl I love out. those old... The penis things. Everything is trawl hauled out every year. Every, every year season. for Christmas. Because people want to see them. Will they make something new? No. They'll go do a, a, a computer job that doesn't have the... I know, and it's not as good as the old ones. They look like hell. I mean, I'd rather see the little movable things with the strings than, than a computer thing. I mean, I know they... I, I know people. I mean, I'm in the industry, so I know the difficulty it is. But I can guarantee you that Roy Disney, when he was alive, said there's nothing that my animation department can't do better and in half the time that the computer people are doing. Mm -hmm. So the computer just looks really look crappy as far as I'm concerned. The other stuff looks... It's of a time that basically everybody wants to go back to a more pastoral time. This is basically going 20, 21st century tech. Nobody likes the 21st century tech for, for you know, the, the specials, which is why. I mean, they want to redo the Flintstones in computer animation. Are you serious? Yeah. It takes uh... away from what the Flintstones were. You know, it, 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 you know it, was, it was really nice. People liked it. It's hung around for 50 years, for God's sake. I mean, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer... You know, with um, you know, uh, with Burl Ives, that thing is an icon. Yeah. I mean, I have seen nobody say, you know, that's a piece of crap. But they'll say the version that they did of it that nobody watched is that piece of garbage. Mm -hmm. They tried to rejigger every single one of those specials with new animation, and none of them worked. They all no, the old ones are better. The old ones are there, so. But, you know, I guess until next time, this is old camp. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. Oh, yes, and let us know about the Christmas. <laughs>